One of the most exciting things about being at Montefiore and Einstein is we're not only pushing forward the frontiers of integrated cancer care, but also the frontiers of cancer research. I'm Stephen Labuti, director of the Montefiore Einstein Center for Cancer Care, and today we're talking about a new clinical trial that recently opened looking at the use of Everolimus, an agent that has recently been approved for patients with advanced stage pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. One of the more common sites for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors to spread is the liver. And often, when these tumors spread to the liver, they can still be removed surgically, just like the primary tumors when they grow in the pancreas. And currently, when you remove these tumors from the liver, that's the sole treatment that you apply, surgical resection. And patients can do quite well if you can completely remove these tumors from their liver. However, we know that patients will recur with tumors despite our best efforts to remove them with surgery. Everolimus is an uh, agent that blocks uh, the mTOR pathway, a uh, mammalian target of rapamycin pathway, which is an important pro-growth pathway for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. And so what we're exploring with this clinical trial is whether the addition of an agent like Everolimus after surgical resection of metastatic disease to the liver can be of benefit over the surgical resection alone. Most studies to date have used agents in the setting of disease being present, that is the patient has tumors, and we follow the effect of the therapy to see if the tumors get smaller. But this is actually the first clinical trial for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors using an adjuvant strategy. Patients that are eligible for this trial are patients who have had surgical removal of their pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors that have spread to the liver. We assess them with imaging studies like CT scan or MRI to make sure there's no evidence of tumors remaining after the surgery and then those patients are randomized to Everolimus or a placebo for 12 months. Median disease-free survival for surgery alone is approximately 15 months. And so this trial is designed to see whether we can extend that time to as long as 30 months. Secondary endpoints in this trial are tolerability, of daily Everolimus for as long as 12 months, so getting an idea of how well that agent is tolerated, and overall survival. I think while the immediate uh, benefits of this trial will hopefully be a new way of approaching the treatment of advanced stage disease, it may influence how we think about treating neuroendocrine tumors even at earlier stages. This trial is being overseen by ECOG Akron, the Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group, and the American College Radiology Imaging Network, which is a combined cooperative group now that works with the National Cancer Institute to conduct large-scale, multi-center clinical trials. Here at the Montefiore Einstein Center for Cancer Care, we feel we're very well positioned to participate in and to, in fact, lead this study. We have an extremely well-developed neuroendocrine tumor program that sees a large number of patients, and we're very excited to bring this trial to our patients in the neuroendocrine tumor program at the Montefiore Einstein Center for Cancer Care because we believe this gives an option to patients following surgery that they might not otherwise have access to. Institutions that are interested in participating in this trial can go to either the ECOG Akron website or the ctsu.org website to download copies of the protocol and consent to activate the trial at their institution.